Welcome to Forever Exiled. I'm Justin, aka Tags. I'm Tyler, Wrecker of Days. Welcome to 219 of Forever Exiled episodes. This is the 219th episode. Consecutively. Consecutively. We're not just mixing up numbers. Yeah, we pick random numbers. That's what we should have done. Oh, we should have. Hey? Man, can you imagine how hard that would have been, though? To pick a new number each time? <laughs> like, I don't know. Did we do that one? <laughs> Uh, that, that we would actually need a spreadsheet. Gross. Uh, big shout out to our patrons. Thanks everybody who resubbed up this week. We love your faces. Patreon gets you access to After Dark. It's our podcast after the podcast. If you're not signed up, go check it out. It's a lot of fun. It's more of us chatting, talking, doing check, friend stuff. Check, check, check it out. But thank you yeah, everybody we do do, for supporting. We do do the friend thing. We do, we do, 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 do the, the friend, friend thing. thing. Twice it's a, it's in a, lot a of day. Friend. Yeah, well this isn't really friendly. No, this isn't friend stuff. That's friend stuff. Mm-mm. This is business. Get down to it. Eventually. <laughs> it's business. <laughs> oh, yeah, but we love your faces. Time. Thanks, everybody. How's your week? Yeah, there was actually, I, you know, sometimes like you, you know a song, so it's in your head. <laughs> Excuse yeah, me. So it's in your head. <laughs> yeah. And whatever. But then you forget where it's from. You barely knew the song to begin with. Like, it's one of those songs where it's like, you know the tune and you really want to belt it, but you know, like three words, you can't mm-hmm. belt it. So you make stuff up when you're yeah, not until you paying get to that part. when no one's yeah. around. Right. Mm-hmm. So anyway, uh, the other day I was going around, and I was like, it's Christmas. It's Christmas time. <laughs> I don't think that's a song. And, <laughs> no, but it, but it was per- it's perfect. So now my whole family, except for my wife, because she doesn't like things that are different than uh-huh. the way that they're supposed to be. So uh, she, uh, my glasses are finally clean. It took me two minutes since and we started. Seconds. Nice job. Yeah. But anyway, she she doesn't like it. But my kids walk around singing that song that doesn't exist. <sighs> so good. It's a good song, though. But there's well like done. a there's like a hidden subliminal message there because then you know I know she's thinking business time, right? So I'm like throwing it in there. It's, it's gotta work. It's gotta work. Right? <laughs> you know. Anyway, no, now my that's where my mind is. Dang it! Uh, I had a good week. Yeah. I think pretty sure. Yeah. Um, my kids went to school all week. Right? Wow. Five out of five days this week. That's like a first for the entire month of, oh, wow, maybe even November too and December. Nice. Uh, but now my wife is sick. So uh, if she gets the kids sick, like the kids started like getting phlegmy. Maybe she got what they have had. They they started getting a different sound than that like. Um, Aaron, you're out. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Stupid lady. You're like, like in COVID, we have a... Um, three bedrooms upstairs and then a bedroom downstairs mm-hmm. and the bedroom downstairs is basically that's our guest room, room. <laughs> it was cool that's room. our, it's our guest room but it's also what she has for like knitting room when she just needs to slam the door and get life and family out of her face and uh which is totally fine by the way family listeners get your me time right Got it's it. not like no, it's not 24 hours a day. I mean, not always, but, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man so you remember white christmas Mm-hmm. Okay, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite parts is I've never actually scene. seen it, but I know you like it. I'm sorry. I just, I just, I, you, <laughs> you asked just, if I know it. You asked if I know oh, it. I do know I thought, it. I thought I asked if if you've I've not seen, seen it. it. No. Oh, never mind. Well, there's for those listening, it's that scene where Danny Kay goes five minutes all to myself, or when he's talking to um, Bing Crosby, and he's like, you know what? If you just had nine kids right and spent five minutes a day with each one of them that would give me 45 minutes all to myself that was your week (laughs) (laughs) just now we're just gone for like 10 minutes he had a phone call that he had to do and we don't remember what we were talking about so tyler talked about the white christmas yeah which uh, is a movie you've never seen i haven't seen it yeah great thanks a lot for showing up my okay so well the reason i had to take that call is because my wife is trying to get one of our kids into a see a doctor but apparently you can't do walk-ins anymore anywhere no to, they were on such a doctor sword shortage yeah the, there's um uh, how do i word this um just message me but it's a it's a problem because it needs to be dealt with relatively quickly but uh so anyway she's calling her family doctor to see what they suggest because even that's like okay we'll see you maybe tomorrow or the next day although it's friday so are you serious you're so lucky if that's what your family doctor is ours is always like two weeks away oh really ours is usually maybe maybe not quite tomorrow or the next day but it's usually within like four or five days but quite often it's phone calls as well 
mm-hmm. if you don't need to go in. Um, yeah, so I'm just trying to help her figure that out. Uh, my week this week was insane. Like, I'm going to try and shotgun run through my week to you with as much detail as I can say. So we record Friday. League comes out Friday. I knew that weekend was going to be crazy. Saturday, because we had we uh, bought an office, and so we're rolling them into some new stuff. We have Saturday. I'm trying to get the episode finished. And also, we have everybody coming over. Have everybody over on Saturday. That was a lot of fun. We had a Christmas party. It was. Thank you very much. Uh, I was working, so I was quite often leaving to come into my office, and I was on the phone, and I was also drinking. Sunday was finally getting everything ready to go for Monday because I had some of our management team going out to this location on Monday. Monday rolls in. Our people are all over doing their thing. I am in my office in the morning. And at around probably, I think around 12-ish, 12.30, I left my office to come back here to my house, uh, my office here at the house because I had a meeting, a Zoom meeting. So I'm driving here. I get a phone call as I'm driving here from one of my finance ladies and she's losing her mind. And I said, well, give me a minute. Uh, I'll be at my computer in a minute and then we'll chat when I get back. So I get to the house and we start chatting. I'm chatting with two of our finance people about some stuff that they've noticed that was happening that was a little bit odd. So I start looking into it with some of our other team. We're trying to figure out what's going on. There were only maybe four or five of us that un- that knew what was going on in this moment. And so this was all starting at 1230 by about... 1 30 1 45 we realized well we had started to realize something was going on but by around 1 30 but between 1 30 and 1 45 uh nearly a million dollars had been taken and transferred wow. out of one of our accounts and so i'm on the phone literally non-stop at about 1 55 i had noticed christina was trying to get a hold of me so i call her back. She says, are you at home? I said, yeah, she didn't know what was going on because there were just so few of us that did at the time. I said, I am. I'm just really busy right now. And she's like, Maya's puking at school. I'm like, son of a bitch. So I'm like, okay, (laughs) I'll go get her. So I I drove from my house to the school because I wasn't going to make her walk if she's puking. And my, and well, I say that to Tyler because I'm driving like three houses down to get to my kid's school, (laughs) drive down, pick her up, bring her home. She's sick for the rest of the day. I'm on the phone multiple times holding her hair back while she's puking in the bathroom, trying to to deal with the stuff we're dealing with with work. And then I've got my poor six-year-old who's sick. My other daughter was at a play date, thankfully, so she wasn't there. By about three o'clock, I messaged Christine. I was like, you have to come home. Like, Maya needs you for one because my kids like their mom. They like whatever. She's much more cuddly and blah, blah, blah. Plus, I'm we've got a problem I need to deal with. <laughs> so she she comes home. She deals with Maya. I'm in the office all day. We hung out Monday night. I couldn't really say much when I was talking to you guys because we didn't know if we were going to be figuring stuff out. Monday night, I drank very heavily while we raced and then stayed up very late to try and make myself fall asleep. Most of our you team did, that you did a great job, by the way, racing most. Yeah, I don't remember it, but I, yeah, it was fine. I don't I don't actually remember Monday. I'm not not that I was drinking that much. I don't remember, but uh, a lot of us didn't sleep Monday night. Tuesday, thankfully, we get a call in the morning that the bank has been able to stop the stuff. They're trying to figure out what happened and blah, blah, blah. So thankfully, we didn't actually lose the money. The transfers had just been initiated, but that they were able to stop all that stuff from happening. So Tuesday, Maya's feeling great. So she goes back to school, she just like a stomach bug or whatever. She's like totally fine. She goes back to school. Uh, Tuesday night, we went out for us, uh, took some of our staff and management group out for Christmas uh, uh, dinner. <laughs> Come home Wednesday morning. My girls start freaking out. Maya's banging on the door at like five in the morning. Uh, Sophia's puking now. We're like, okay, <laughs> freaking awesome. But I had to be out at one of our other offices. So Christine stays home. That's Tuesday. No. Wednesday. Wednesday. No. That's Tuesday. Yeah. Wait. Now I'm lost. Because then all of a sudden, 
Oh no, sorry. That Wednesday is Logan. Maya's banging on our door at five because Logan's puking. Okay. And so he stays home from school. Christina stays home with him. He's sick Wednesday. He, sorry, Jesus. He's sick Wednesday by Thursday morning. So yesterday morning, Sophia's puking. Logan's still sick. Maya's off to school. I, it's just been like the most ridiculous week. And then we have a problem with Maya this morning. It's not related, thankfully, to puking or anything else. It's something else. But yeah, man, I just this week can just piss right off. It's been an <laughs> absolute gong show. But you know what? And then I played Path of Exile from time to time. But did you find the issue with how the the money began the transfer? Uh, we know how it it it, it happened. Um, police are doing the rest of it. But yeah, it was uh it was not a it was not a great start to the week. And then through through the course of the week was just obviously trying to deal with a bunch of other stuff. And then managing sick kids and Christine and I doing whatever we can to not get sick through the process so thankfully knock on wood neither of us have i did go this week though to my first appointment with the kinesiologist and and doing the um workout stuff so that was actually really fun pathetic because i haven't done it in forever and you don't realize just exactly how weak you are and how much your body's weird until you're working with somebody who does so i did that this week which was actually really nice i think uh, wednesday night i went and did that so yeah it was a, it was a week man it was a week. I my phone has never been on so much as this past week, but just permanently plugged in, hey? Yeah, it's been charged a lot through the week. So, but well, I'm glad you know everything's what? passed Friday. and dealt with, with the exception of Maya. I hope she's okay. I yeah, hope your just wife gets to get keep her, her job because since they oh, probably she's... don't believe that every kid's been sick an individual day throughout the week. Yeah, she's definitely fine on that end. But it was ridiculous. Like, can't you guys all get sick at once? Like, just. But, and it was just a puking sick and it lasted for like a day not even a full day but it's funny how different kids are like with with puking specifically like how they all react differently like maya she's pretty good at trying to get to the bathroom but she also <laughs> at one point she's just walking through the kitchen she's like i don't feel good i'm like Let, okay let's go let's go to the bathroom Blah. just like all over the kitchen floor i'm like Okay, <laughs> that's Picking funny. her up and trying to get her there. But Maya and Logan don't, they want Christina to be there with them, but don't touch them. Like you, I want you in the room. I need to know my mom's here, but don't touch me. Don't rub my back. Don't whatever. Whereas Sophia's like, I need to sit on your lap while I'm puking. Like she's like, <laughs> she needs the comfort through the whole thing. Uh, anyway, so yeah, it was a, it was a crazy week. Crazy, crazy week. But it's Friday, so it's got to get better. Has to. Only, only way, only direction is up. It can only go up. We got Christmas coming. It's Christmas time. It's coming. <laughs> See? Yep. I'm gonna be singing. Tis for the, the rest season, of it. just anyway, for puking presents. Crazy, crazy week, but uh, lots of POE to talk about. So mm -hmm. let's get into some. Yeah. Path of Exile. Gotta skip the lawn talk again because it's December. Yeah, did you know that this episode? comes out on the 17th so okay. next week is our merry christmas episode oh like it'll come out on christmas special. eve da, 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 da. <laughs> everyone's gonna be listening to it around the fire with their family i feel like we've come uh, out before not, on christmas pro, oh pro, that's, yeah. we're just that special we've been around but, for a long time <laughs> but um yeah we're not doing anything special for christmas by the way I'm no we're saying. gonna say merry christmas it's only, and happy like, holiday. yeah that's next week it's yeah. crazy. That's that is crazy. So um let's see. This week in POE. Um so first, um I couldn't I don't know why I put this here, but I'm gonna say it anyway because it's there and I'm not gonna mess things around. Uh there's lots of really cool new enemy base types in this release. In the forest area, you mean? Yeah, like the, the spiders are like really big daddy long legs type thing. I guess those technically aren't spiders, but you know, and then, you know, like you're, there's just so many really cool new looking base types and they move differently. I absolutely hate getting smashed by like the bear reindeer, whatever yep. that thing's called. Mm -hmm. Cause like it, they, like, I don't mind the idea of an enemy like shoving me along and, you know, but how they do it with like the screen jitter. Not yeah. cool. That's mm -hmm. not cool. That's 
just as bad as that stupid lightning mod where it's just constant lightning on the screen. Yeah. Uh-huh. Until There's you something find that, that happens in there person. too with a really bright, solid, like single ball. I don't know what it is or who does it, but there's a very, very bright yeah. something. Hmm. So anyway, I want to shout out that there's a lot of really cool enemy base types. Uh, but now we're going to play a game called What Was Tyler Trying to Say? I'm going to read this, and this is what Google translated. I think Kadaoba was tweaked. The red moving dot skill that they use does not last very long at all. The red moving dot skill. What is Dude, you were drunk. What? A T A W B A. Katarina? But you wouldn't have done Katarina Ka- yet. No. Catacombs? That doesn't make sense because you're talking about a red moving dot skill they use. Who uses Ka-ta-ba. a red moving dot? Ka-ta-ba. Who uses a red moving dot skill? Kativa. Kativa, the oh. little things on the ground. Yeah. I think they changed the Act 5 version of it. I remember oh, we figured it oh, out. I don't because think so. Because the, the dots on the ground lasted such a small amount of time, cons- or a short amount of Before time they compared blow up, you mean? to... Well, Before you know, there's like, the one where yeah, he shoves his fist in the ground, and then there's that red, like, ooze. Yeah, okay, that, that one. out like slugs. Yeah. Yeah, that one in Act 5. I think they tweaked it, because it doesn't last anywhere near as long as the Act 10. Oh, uh, okay. Could, could have. That's it. We cool. got it. Awesome. We figured it out. We figured it out. <laughs> good game. Just good game. So uh, this week in PUE was insanely busy, but that's their fault. <laughs> 100% their fault. But let's go mm-hmm. start with Path of Exile community stuff. Uh, there were some Twitch highlights and congratulations. Uh, like some of it was like people in cosplay and uh, others are just reactions to either silly deaths or uh, astonishing drops. Um, but congratulations, GG. I've, I've mentioned in the past that it's like always the same big familiar faces that are up there. There were so many unfamiliar faces up there and so many great reactions. Good job going through the effort of getting a nice variety of people. Some familiar, of course, and some popular, some I've never heard of, probably popular elsewhere, but I've never seen them. So good job really mixing it up this time. Very cool. inclusive. Uh, build of the week is coming out again, season 13. And, oh, I like these posts. What's been discovered so far? How do they decide what's been discovered? I I don't know how they track their data, but it's kind of cool. Yeah. Does that mean that it's dropped at some point or someone's posted about it? Like, I wonder how they determine. Sure. Right. Yeah. That, um, but anyway, yeah, it's a bunch of different uniques that they've discovered so far. Some of them replicas. They came out with some wallpaper for us super nerds. Just the three different um, wallpapers for the three new temporary ascendancies. Oh, cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We use some of those for our YouTube backgrounds. Because we love YouTubers. (laughs) We love you. Once a league, the beginning, you get new pictures. That's that's what we do. Is that what you do once a league? Yeah. Every time time they bring out the, um, what's the? Press kit. Press kit. Yeah. I update the pictures. Nice. Uh, and then console, they got their release and hotfix. And so they're up to date all the way until I think it was hotfix 12. Cool. Which so they're is pretty much up to date. Almost. They're missing one patch. Just it is a big patch, patch yeah. but it is mm-hmm. one. But And and this sounds familiar. Um, it didn't at the time when it first came out. It was quite novel for me this time around. But then I sent GGG a message saying, this is really awesome. Thank you so much. It sounded like I'd said that before. But GGG launched Standard. So the League came out on Wednesday for console. Mm-hmm. The League. But they launched Standard on Monday. Isn't they that cool? Launched standard, right? What does so that mean? all like all those gem changes, the transfigure gems, oh, okay. everything that was core came out on Monday, but hmm. the league itself came out on Wednesday. That's amazing. I absolutely love that. Like as a content creator for me, that gives me time to actually test in game to see if stuff is working properly. Like if I was back into doing guides, I would actually give me two evenings Mm -hmm. to see how things actually works together. Instead of, you know, you get those, oh, 78 billion shaper DPS. And it's like three months before the league comes out. You know, Mm -hmm. I guess that doesn't make make sense, but you know, Mm -hmm. always right. But you know, this gives actually a content creator time to do that, which is really cool. Of course, it let me submit, like it actually gave me more than a one hour window to apply my filters before the league starts right Mm. i could apply them on monday morning or afternoon and they're ready to go and it even includes the stuff that hasn't been released yet 
You know what I mean? So it's not like my filter cool. came up with an error because the omens weren't approved yet or anything like that. I don't know. But so anyway, it, yeah, it's just really cool. And I don't know if there's a reason that they don't do it on PC, but it is so relaxing to do that on console. Hmm, that's good. Yeah, but I mean, think about that, though. Like, if you if you wanted to, that probably wouldn't interest you at all, but it would give you time to set up your stash tabs and set up your hideout again and do all that kind of stuff, and you'd have two days, and you wouldn't have to worry about the patch within that same day and all that traffic. It's just, you know, you show up. And it's not like if somebody's playing standard that you're it's ruining a surprise for you because as a league-only player, you're not interested in anything that they it discover. Wouldn't bother me. Not new, I wouldn't right? do it myself, but I could see the benefit for some. Yeah. So anyway, mm -hmm. I like that. Like that. Kudos, GGG. So uh, from the time there have been since the release of this game, there have been 12 hotfixes and mm -hmm. then a relatively big patch. That's the Zero B patch, mm -hmm. Zero Bravo patch. Mm -hmm. And I think there were four, maybe five hot fixes out by the time we recorded last week. So there's been quite a lot since. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. How do you want to? Um, well, I mean, the, most the, of the hot fixes were like crashes and yeah, I, I don't know how you want to go about it either. Because a lot of it comes into us talking about our experiences right. in game. To be honest, so, most of the patches don't f affect me or change too much. Sure. Sure. They, but the, the majority of them were either crashes or um, toning down either the experience in the wild woods or what the, what do they call them? Empowered monsters in your maps as a result of being in the woods was all about. Current, so they either toned them down or fixed crash bugs. I, I'm still experiencing issues with both of those things, even after the zero B. So. Oh, e easily. Yeah. I, um, We'll talk yeah. about that. Yeah, but sure. Let's yeah. get into it later. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. So there's a bunch of those different ones. Um, they've changed how some corpses work that you can and can't deal with some of them with their new skills and specters. Uh, Here is one hovering over each type of wisp on the wisp user interface now details the effect they have on monsters when empowering them. So they finally hmm. added the ability in game to know what your wisps do in your map. So, oh, I didn't notice that. That is cool. I haven't well, I mean, looked yet, but to me, that's basic information that sh that well, needs to be launched. So but does adding glad. to the tinctures to clarify that you have to equip them in the slot to be used, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Mm. So you know, but hey, it's there now. But I mean, come on, talk about like four months. This is this this league has screamed rushed launch, and it was another four month league everything about this was like it feel like and again it's not criticizing how hard people work but it's just the structure and the efficiency of how they're doing it it's this one really dropped the ball now going back to the hovering thing with the wisps what's a controller player supposed to do about that information can you, you get it hover somehow? no yeah, but is there do something that. No, oh, just check the help section. I'm sure it's there. Yeah, right. <laughs> so anyway, it's another one of those things where, again, they throw something in and they're not considering all the aspects of the game that they're attempting to like they have controller support and they have console. That has to be a part of every one of your decision making, whether you're a console player or not, because that's the direction the company decided to go. So it's odd that you go those directions and then many of your decisions like the filter stuff. You got this cool new import feature that doesn't even support your vanilla method of making filters for all your platforms. Uh, they also finally introduced the, well, not finally, I guess it's, you know, something you definitely want to be careful with um, because it's paid content, but the Valdo's puzzle box. And already they have 345 options in there for a T17 Valdo's. But maps are cleared differently. It's not just like considered when you beat the boss. Valdo mm -hmm. maps are considered cleared, quote unquote, when you have completed the map, killed all rare and unique monsters, and killed 90% of the monsters in the area. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of bug fixes, EK, uh, ethereal knives that was all over the place there were so I don't I don't know what the issues were but there were so many issues with ethereal knives hmm. um, controller support did get some controller support specific updates but it's like and, and I'm thankful for them but it's like eking up too close to being at an acceptable state you know what I mean 
but you know they're coming they're coming so thank you thank you for that and uh one thing that i do though because we whether we're gonna have positive or negative things to say um i haven't been impressed with the release of this league at all from a quality perspective and just from no matter what your product is the product just wasn't good enough at, at launch, there's just so much that we can get into, but I uh, want to congratulate GGG on getting their patches. Just, we got these fixes, boom, get them out. Got a fix, boom, get it out, get it out, get it out, get it out, get it out. And so I appreciate that. Uh, I don't know if this is a good time to have this conversation, but a, a league of this scope with, I don't know, like it's like they, they know what they're rushing and what they're not. And to choose to do this before the Christmas break, like this is the league they choose to do before Christmas break. <laughs> right? Where they're I sending think they were, the majority they of their time. Stuff. Like I think they still have enough time to sort that. But yeah, I, I don't know if it's ever planned. I also think like I'm going to say I'm going to be somewhat negative when we get into our experiences through the through this past week in the game. I, I do like the game. I think it's. A, it's great. I love grinding gear games, but I am going to be a little bit negative towards them today. Not, not overly, but in general, we are very happy with the game. But um, I sometimes wonder though if it if the state that it releases into them is good, and then they just realize stuff later. Like I'm not sure it comes out in a state where it's like EA used to be, where it's like ship it. That's it. Let's ah. just ship it. I don't. I don't think that they think that there's going to be issues with some of this stuff that becomes an issue later. That's my feeling. I don't know that that's true, but yeah, we'll mm. get into it. Okay. Um, then there was also, let's see, they had the, uh, they added the mystery box. Uh, oh, the PC gamer came out with uh, the full interview of the, of Was that the link you sent me? I sent no, you, you sent links. me some rock paper something. Yeah, that Rock was actually scissors. a crappy article. I was really excited about yeah, it. It was, like it. it was, it was, I read crappy. it and I was like, yeah, it was, okay. it, it didn't teach you anything. It was disappointing, no. but I'll, we'll, we'll bring it up in a sec. And then, um, there was the video that PC Gamer did when they went to New Zealand and talk with, yeah, okay. uh, Mark and Jonathan, uh, there was a couple points in there. There really wasn't anything new for people that are actually hoping to learn a little bit more about the mentality behind Path of Exile 2, which is probably what I'm more excited about. Like, it's sure, I'm excited for all the classes and stuff like that, but I'm more interested in seeing what item weight's going to be like. I'm more interested in seeing what the replayability is going to be like. So it's those little things I want to hear about that. So uh, yeah, they came out with a, a video there, and but I actually think I have those later in the notes. Uh, they did come out with a mystery box. Want to watch it? Sure. Okay. That was cool. Yeah, pretty pretty neat. Pretty neat. It's probably one of my lesser favorite ones uh, that I've seen before. Like the Toad portal looks fun. Yeah, the Toad portal does look good. And Mark's doing a good job, hey, with his scripts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. looking good. Sounds good. I like the Aura MTX that gets stronger with how many Auras you're using. I, I enjoy that. I wonder if it's specifically Aura or if it's just stuff that reserves mana, skills that reserve mana. I don't know. They said Aura, but mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. I love the cool new entrances too, like to uh, the oh, lab to the different and the menagerie mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I think that's a really cool addition to the game. Really, really mm -hmm. like that. And the pilfering ring, that's the oh, ring that shows you how, you how much currency you've earned. I don't know when that resets, but... Oh yeah, I guess maybe procession? Can't be like I've... forever. <laughs> that like, would be, it would actually honestly be annoying if it was forever. But yeah, it would be cool if it was per session or per map or something like that. You know that. what I've always wanted is like something like that. But so let's say you run a map and then you start the next map, right? So now your portals are gone. I would love sometimes to be able to see what did you miss. If, oh, if you had clicked all the chests man. and clicked all the stuff and killed all the people. That would be really cool, be actually. I don't think there would be a, a negative consequence to that, except because it would I'm, be gone, right? So you've closed the portal, so it's not like you could get back there, but it would be kind of funny. Oh man, imagine how many more people will go back for chests if those numbers were actually nuts. <laughs> yeah, they were. And how many, how much trouble GGG would be in for spawning so many chests because of how many <laughs> clickable <laughs> problems that would be. There's more wrist yeah, issues. Mm -hmm. That's funny. Uh, I love the rare and unique finishers as well. And then there's also that extra effects tab where yeah. you can, I wonder if all MTX is eventually going to be able to be put there. Well, these were specific to when you craft with three very specific items. Yeah, they're weird. So, like, yeah, it's kind of cool, except that 
the thing I always find a little bit odd with stuff like that is that when they're going off, you tend to have a lot of stuff up on the screen. So mm -hmm. you miss it quite often. Like the one where when you identify something, the books pop out from whatever. Yeah. Quite often I've got like my inventory plus the stash open. So I'm not seeing anything that happens anyway. But they're cool. Yes, they are. Yeah, I don't know. I think it'd be kind of fun to have one of those like massive toads eat you up or that big spider one. That'd be kind of neat too. But anyway, yeah, it was a crazy busy week in PoE. Unfortunately for GGG, it wasn't overly positive. It was just desperately trying to catch up to the quote unquote status quo of quality. Um, I wrote GGG some feedback this week in regards to... I don't know how to put it, but um, just like in my general experience for this week, and it was quite short, but uh, I wrote a ton of bugs this week. Mm -hmm. And I I normally, like if it was just PC, I wouldn't be as avid for it because I'm, most of the times the assumption is, and it's pretty safe, that somebody else has already written the bug. But on controller support, that's not the case very much at all. And so a lot of the times when I'm writing a bug, I'm writing the first or only bug report regarding it um so but one of my bugs from last week got a reply and it was only they they fixed the bug that i wrote but only partially but they still replied to the bug officially from gg saying oh, hey this replied. part of the cool. bug is fixed nice. but this part of the bug is not fixed but just wanted to give you a heads up and i love that i thought that was fantastic the fact that they just didn't ignore it I mean, it takes a lot of extra work, but I think that's really cool. I'm very pleased that they did that. But um, I had a lot of extra feedback for them this week because, and it wasn't like a long paragraph. It was just basically like, as a controller player, um, there's been, it's been non-stop glitches. And I'm sure people did touch their controllers while testing, but it feels like nobody did. And this whole league launch, all I've been doing is writing bug reports or I'm playing a game that's really crappy for controller support and choosing not to write bugs. But either way, like the whole week was a real garbage experience for controller support because of the amount of glitches that there are UI mm -hmm. issues, text issues, lack of information, even like actual crashes where when you're in controller support, uh, one of then this was fixed, but all I would, so on controller support on PC, I have to hit enter to bring up the chat window. Right. I've seen you do it. If mm -hmm. I use the mouse to hover over an item that was displayed in chat, game crashed. Oh, you figured out what it was. Cause I remember you telling me that your game kept right. crashing, but it was something simple, like very easy things like that. Like even if I didn't even mean to highlight an item, but I moved the mouse and it scrolled over the item, boop gone like there was just weird so but there were so many little things that made the controller user experience so disappointing and frustrating and the whole week i felt like well am i gonna play this and just power through it and not waste my time it's not really wasting my time but like i sat down to game am i gonna use that time writing a whole bunch of bug reports like non-stop bug reports it because it really did feel non-stop or am I just going to power through it and sit and deal with crashes and not be able to read my text and not be able to know what this is? So it was, it was just like, and you know, that's not what they go for. That's not their goal for league launches, right? That's not what they're aiming for. So I did provide that feedback. Um, it was, it was tough. It was tough. Theta pointed out um, early, much, much earlier in the week when a lot of the crashes were first starting to happen that the last time they had and granted, it's nowhere near as bad as Heist's launch was, but funny enough, the last time the the last time they came out with a whole bunch of new gems, <laughs> they had a pretty bad launch, which was Heist, of course, right? Arguably yeah. one of their worst launches. So this is, and again, maybe this just seems like a bad launch to me because they've had so many good launches in the past year and a half. I would say, like they've mm -hmm. really picked up their quality. Uh, the issues at League Launch have been far and few between so now uh, of course this is now in a way an abnormal release for them unless of course you've been playing the game for a long time but uh, it is i did giggle at uh theta's comparison to heist league because the last time they had a huge amount of gems launched lots of crashes and issues mm -hmm. 
So do you have anything like I, I have a lot of good things to say as well. I know I've been negative throughout the episode so far with this league launch because it has been a very poor quality league launch. But um, I do have a lot of good things to say and I have some criticisms as well. Do you want to go with your week first or do you want me to do mine? Uh, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, my week was fine. I'm playing the game like I, I, I do like the game. I I think that I mean, their base game has been quite good for quite a while and I don't have a huge problem with the base game i think it's been laggy as crap this this league release there have been way more crashes than i remember in a long time and the problem with crashes is it can lead to some really frustrating outcomes like i had a crash and i lost an ultimatum because when an ultimatum if you're in the middle of an ultimatum and you crash out when you come back in the ultimatum's just done you don't get any of the stuff that you've built up towards um if you crash in the woods that's it you're just you're back to your map if you uh it just yeah it, it was really frustrating i was i crashed in a uh i don't remember one of the unique maps thankfully i didn't lose that one but it was still frustrating because mm. it was in a boss fight so all of a sudden i just crashed in the middle of a boss fight and so, i i crashed and i lost map progress so it was just for some reason you know some crashes are different this one decided that the session was done the instance was gone and it yeah. was the only map i had of that yeah map i don't know how you word that but yeah, so the crashes are, are a little bit frustrating. Um, and I also, I think that part, you know, I, 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 I'm going to go into the stuff that bothered me with, that I'm bothered with right now. Some of it could be just me. It could be the fact that I decided to go with a much heavier build towards clear speed. I have changed up my build so many times already this league and we're a week in. Like I've gone from Toxic Rain to Caustic Arrow to Tornado Shot and now I'm considering going to Scourge Arrow because I'm, I'm just not feeling... It like doesn't I'm feel really right. enjoying like I feel like I can get the clear to work fine but I'm not great I'm not really enjoying the boss side of it like I got I had to get BK to come help me do the two invitations like the the fire and ice one and then the fatty like those two were just I was like forget this this is a joke I literally can't do boss damage so uh yeah so there is a part of it that obviously is me playing a build that maybe is struggling a little bit but my my biggest issues are it's still overtuned it's still like it is not fun in it for me in a tier 14 15 16 to go into the woods and fight stuff and then make the other mobs harder there's no i don't do it i just skip it because the only reason i'm going into the woods now is to maybe find the npc which i was laughing about this they they get rid of ultimatum they bring back ultimatum but the the wood area reminds me of the ultimatum where you never saw the trial master you never got to fight him that reminds me of the woods i go in the woods and i'm like i'm never gonna find this stupid npc i want to swap my build or i want to look for something to buy first off i i left the blue side like the, the i think it's the primalist where you can like build your own tree i yeah, can't yeah. see the blue i, I literally cannot uh, see isn't the it blue. hilarious that they have three colors to pick for the wisps right they pick yellow they pick purple and then out of all the colors they could pick they choose to pick the exact same color that they're the using mist. for the fog of war yeah it's, and even if it actually is white versus teal or gray versus teal it's so difficult it's to tell especially because sometimes the wisps are like there's only one or two because you're far away you know they're not thick it's not a thing. And if you trail. catch those first two, then you have to stop and you're like, I don't see it. Right. Where you waste is it? so much of your, I don't know, black wisps trying to find where the trail went. It is like, what's wrong with green? <laughs> you could have you could have Make red. It stand like, out. It, right. There's so many other colors you could use, but we're like, okay. So we're we've all agreed on teal for the fog of war color. All right. So now we have yellow, we have purple. I vote teal. <laughs> yeah, right? it's, like, what you, it's so weird so i did switch off of them and i just went the yellow i think that's the magi and i was like screw it i'm just gonna go the tincture route i'll see if i can figure something because i was getting so annoyed with not being able to follow the stupid wisps in there and actually find them properly and again that could be just a me thing but it was very frustrating so i was like forget it i'll just do the yellow because the purple hat i don't have any interest it doesn't really help me at all with the way i'm playing so that's frustrating because it just makes me laugh at the idea of like it, they bring back ultimatum but this reminds me of trying to fight the trial master when ultimatum first came out which was like impossible you were almost never going to see that stupid boss 
this is what it feels like to try and find the NPCs within the Wildwood. So, uh, but I, I feel like it is still wickedly overtuned for the average, at least I feel like for most people, I, I'm, I, sh I don't know if I should say that. For me, it is. I, if I go in there in a tier 14, the mobs go from I've cleared a map to like, I'm going to be in here for a while trying to kill a normal monster. I'm not killing some unique monster, which that is hard, but I'm fighting against just normal monsters in there and they're tanky as balls. And then if I choose to do that at the beginning, I'm risking throwing away map completion because I can't continue that process through the map itself. Like, I love the idea of it. I love this idea of I'm going to buff up my map. And I'm sure there are some people and some builds out there that are quite strong. And that is great. But I don't feel like I'm under geared. I don't feel like I'm playing poorly. I just feel like the ramp up is quite substantial between a normal mob, tough mob in a map and a regular mob within the wildwood. They're they're just don't feel the same. It's and that not gets a good really balance. exhausting. I don't like inconsistency in a game, but I get that for some reason GGG wants their league content to be harder than the casual than the core content. I, I get that. Um, but I'm seven levels over my map, my areas right now, right? I'm still going through my white maps. And after I go through the Wildwood, whether I die or not, which goodness me, don't get me started on some of the rare combos that can show up, like when you reach some of those nests or whatever they are, and you get like six yellow monsters out there. And of course, they're all primal or whatever they are. And then they get so oh, just, anyway, anyway, yeah, it's like no wonder that I'm dying. But um, I get out and then, you know, they go psh, all over the map. Magic monsters. One magic monster can take longer than the boss. Yeah, 100%. And, and to me, that just makes zero sense. And uh, But going back to what we were saying before, though, that's not a surprise to them. Like, I wonder what it is. What builds are they using? What items are they using that's... They're like, okay, this is the balance that we like. Let's ship this. Okay, well, you Because you there's a lead that. launch that needs to happen first. You say that, and if you, re you read that Scissor Rock whatever article, that, that article made me nervous for the way that they test stuff and i understand that jonathan is not the human being that actually properly tests stuff but when he said oh we use a cheat to just kill the boss and see it, it, it does this feel right for the amount of loot that's dropping uh, fyi when you cheat to kill the boss there's no lead up there's no build up to this process i had to go through to kill the boss to then see if that loot's worth it this feels like they I don't feel there's no value to me doing the wildwood right now. I don't. The only reason I do it, and it's quite often the only thing I do, I clear a map. And if it's a map that just happens to bring me back towards my portal, then I'll go in there. I'll see if I can find the NPC and then I leave the map. I don't do it to buff the map because I'm risking not getting Atlas completion. I'm risking buffing up a modifier that I want to play within the map. Like I've done my Atlas. If I want to do something within my map that is going to be my way of making currency. I risk not being able to complete it if I was doing expedition early on. Doing the Wildwood early risked me being unable to complete an expedition because the expedition would be ridiculously harder. So I, I don't feel like there's a proper level of like, like you said, what type of build are they using to what the average player is going to be able to play. And I don't get the, I, I feel like where their difficulty lies should have been in where it is, which is, try and find the NPCs, try and do the quest, make that side of it difficult, make those bosses, make those individual quest parts difficult. Don't don't make the zone unfun to go into unless you're very, very strong, very strong, very tanky. But also, if you're going to do that, then give me a way to get the fuck out. I can't leave. If I portal out, I can't portal back to my map when I take the portal again. I'm back in the Wildwood. I literally have to try and sprint through the black to just use it all up. It's weird that they so still don't have a get out option. Just leave. Right. Like what would do. be the downside? If I leave, I'm just putting less fleas into the air. That's fine. I'm getting less buffed monsters. I'm 100% I'm okay with that. I don't understand why that's not an option for me to just be able to leave the Wildwood. Well, remember, it took them a month for them, we talked about this at the beginning of League Launch, it took them a month to add the ability to quit uh, 
trial of the ancestor. Yeah, the trial. That's right. Yeah. So I like there. There are other things that I've found frustrating. I did ultimatum. Oh my god! When they say that they adjusted the prizes to make or whatever the rewards, yeah. They're freaking garbage. They I are. expect that they ultimatum are. real fast. My first ultimatum, seven elks was the first option. I'm like, awesome. This is amazing. I love it. Probably went from then I go through. Like, it was. And that was garbage. I didn't even realize trash. the stupid belt was corrupted. And then, so anyway, I go and I go and I'm like, okay, well, this is it's fine. But I'm going to end it because like there's, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to risk not getting seven elks for this garbage ring that's in the third wave. So I end it. Two more ultimatums later. Never saw anything even remotely. I'm like, really? I've never seen so seven I'm like, elks. I'll do the That's first like round really because I'm like, it's got to be something better next round. The next round comes up and I'm like, that wouldn't Here's even show catalyst. up in my filter. <laughs> it's oh. so crap. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah. all right, bye. It's but, unfortunate because I was excited for ultimatum, but there were two things that wrecked it for me. One is the rewards were just trash, but two, maybe I just, dis I just didn't fully remember this from the ultimatum league, but the ultimatum arena is so map reliant that if I, if the ultimatum trial master spawns in an area that's got little mountains or molds that you can't run around or run through, yep. you could end up, especially as you build out that ultimatum, like one of them is puts a circle in the middle that causes a, a physical damage over time or all these different things. You could make it so that you actually can't barely move and if you don't move in an ultimatum you're probably dead so stationary yeah, perks yeah i inspect yeah except that you what you, like there's just so many things that screw you if you stop moving in ultimatum so yeah. i don't know i just i did unspec out of it i'm playing around more with blight because i'm playing blight just i started doing it with josh and it's easy i don't have to think i can work while i do it but what's really frustrating about that is i'm having more fun doing blighted maps than the league mechanic that I was very much looking forward to, but now I can't stand. It's just not fun for me to go in and try and do the league mechanic because it wrecks the rest of the map. And I and then it just yeah, it's it's I feel like it's still way too overtuned. I'm sure there's others who will disagree, and that's fine. But I, my personal feeling is it's still unnecessarily strong. There's no real reason for it to be so strong. And then I'm just going to add on because I, uh, again, I'm going to be negative. Pile let me be on, negative. Justin, I'll get some push the snowball, let it roll. Man, I Don't got worry. so mad yesterday when I was <laughs> you uh, were very mad. It was like, I feel, <sighs> I totally feel for you. We've all had those moments where it's like just the, 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 the you're having the worst path of exile day ever. I feel yeah, everything for Everything just piles on. I wasn't I having was that day, Tyler. so it was... <laughs> It was good timing. I was, was going to say it was enjoyable, but it wasn't because I actually get what you're going get, through. But fine. I was, I was doing okay, so I was happy to hear, you know, I, happy, to, happy to hear, have the vent. Bring it on, bring it on. I had uh, thankfully people in twenty one twenty one helped me at least understand it, but I still think that they're that they assume everyone is like Mark GGG smart level when it comes to understanding how Path of Exile works, and I have played Path of Exile since. The beginning of it coming out, I hate that there are still things in this game where I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? I'm going to, I got to look on the wiki because it's not in the game. For example, a tincture that says all damage can poison. I read that and went, well, that's weird. Does that mean I don't need chance to poison anymore? Like, does that mean that everything just poisons? So I put it into 2121. I said, so what, what does this mean? I love that the response is, and they're right, but it's just, no, it can poison, but you still need chance to poison. I'm like, well, doesn't anything then need chance to poison? And so then I had to go on the wiki to, re I forgot that only physical and chaos can poison. Yeah. Don't know where that is. Maybe that is in the, ma I don't know. Maybe it's on chance to poison. Maybe it's on something. Shit like that just made me, I was, because I was already up to here annoyed with stuff. And then yeah. I'm trying to, because what was happening was I wanted to get out of the stupid teal because I couldn't find the, the vendor. I couldn't find the blue fleas. So I was like, I'll just go yellow, do the tincture route. But then I'm looking at these tinctures and I'm like, ah, like calling strike. I get it. That one I get. But all damage can poison. Like, could, would it, I don't know, find a different way? Uh, maybe that it, is enough. Uh, well, but I don't know. all they need is a small little bracket for the sake of the user, right? Like when uh, the video that uh, we referenced about GGG talking about Path of Exile 2, one thing that they focused on is not like depth, but simplicity. You don't need 
complex to have a really deep game or complicated to have a complex game, I guess you could say. And so with that in mind, you can just have a small little bracket that helps that just says still requires chance to poison or something along those lines. Or like normally a, a more... only physical and chaos or something that gives some reference to why is this different? What is this? Right. Because there's nothing what? in the game that tells you that only physical and chaos poison. Poison. There's nothing in the game that tells you that. And when you say all damage can poison, if, if, again, I'm an idiot, but I've also played a long time. I didn't know at the time of reading that. Does that mean that my all my damage will poison or do I still need chance to poison? Yeah. And so like I, I just I know where they're coming from. I understand that a lot of the stuff that they do is much more focused on the person who's been around for a long time and understands a lot of the mechanics within the game. But I find that shit super annoying. And it didn't help that I was already annoyed because my game had been crashing. The the league mechanic was not fun for what I was hoping to do. The build was feeling fine. Like I can clear maps Scourge and do Arrow stuff now? fine. No, not yet. I'm going to go to Scourge Arrow. Right now I'm just playing with the uh, Tornado Shot hmm. and, and it is fine. Like is that, mapping, you, you came like, into my map a couple times yesterday. That was Tornado hmm. Shot. Yeah, but it's also combining it with Rampage on the belt and Zerfi's heart. Sure. So you're getting just so leader. I know what it looks like to know never do Tornado Shot. <laughs> Tornado Shot itself <laughs> is not like the crazy. You were seeing a lot of the Rampage stuff going off, but it, like it, it's it's fun. But I was talking to BK earlier yesterday and I said I didn't have time to really do much thinking. So I had an idea of what I wanted, then looked at what other people did and sort of stole from that what people were doing. And um, she was actually the one who had suggested Scourge Arrow, so I'm going to look into that maybe next week. But I, I, I want something where I can engage in the mechanic, but not feel like I've had to invest wholly to do it. That to me is silly. If a player has to invest a huge amount of currency or wait till they have a huge amount of investment in the gear, like I want to do the league mechanic because I'm going up through the maps. I felt like I couldn't. I felt like I was risking Atlas completion by doing it. And that's not fun for me. They, uh, we've talked a lot about them needing to have like checkpoints or checklists and rules to abide by for them with different released content, whether it's about damage output of new gems or whatever. This is a similar thing. Like what's the act 10 quest reward you get? That isn't that that you do. It's one of the main quest rewards, but it's not a skill point. You get a four link chest. Just in case you don't have one yet, you get a four link chest. Okay. That is what I have now. That's what the game is giving me guaranteed just in case I don't to start maps. So can I do this with a four link chest? You know, let, let's say that's my primary skill, right? They're not expecting you to have a five link. That would be great. But can I do this on a four link chest? Can I survive on this? And that should be part of their guideline. Like this is what we're giving the players from the quest. So this is what the damage output and the defenses should be all revolved around once you start your white maps. Right. And, and then I think the base version of the game does that decently. If you take out the league mechanic, I actually think their base version of the game, oh, you can start maps, yes. works fantastically. But then they throw in what's supposed to be the reason you're drink, bringing that for me, why I'm coming back. That's why I'm coming well, back exactly. because of the league. So if you want the league mechanic, and again, I'm against this, but if GGG wants the league mechanic to be a little bit more difficult than the normal core content, you still have to base it around what you're providing the user. The, the league mechanic, sure, it could provide you with more items, but that doesn't really change your power early on, especially as a league leveler. Like I had more chaos. I had more alks. It doesn't change much for me as I'm leveling, right? I, I mean, <laughs> this league, I actually messaged in global. I'm like, Did, is there an issue with essence? I hadn't, I didn't see an essence until like act six. Hmm. There was nothing. And then all of a sudden, I, I think I ended up having f only four essences by the end of the campaign. So I, normally I'm like, I can't use them enough. This league, I'm like, ah, what's going on? And that's how, but that's how random works. And so I really just don't think they have the proper checkpoints for how this works because scaling for this, like I'm well over leveled for my area. That's what happens when you're in your very first league start, right? You're completely like I'm, my gems are almost level 20. And I'm still in white maps, right? Like by the time you hit the end of the campaign, your gems are at level 18 or 19. It's never, ever like that again, except for your first playthrough, 
I am six or seven levels over the area level and it's a good build. And I am like, there's just some impossible moments. It is, it is a very odd mechanic. I, it has so much potential and I was really excited for it, but it's another one of those things where it's like, if you're going to book time off for league launch, do it for week three of the league. Let them figure all this stuff out because for me last night, Thursday night, so we're recording Friday, Thursday night was the first stable gameplay experience that I've had. I still had a lot of controller UI issues and bugs and things that I had to work around, but it was the first time my game hadn't crashed in the entire week. Prior to last night, I had a ton of crashes on a regular basis to the point where I had my whole night, Tuesday night, just completely booked off for Path of Exile. I was super stoked. Sit down at 8 o'clock. By 8.30, I quit. I couldn't play. It was just way too glitchy. I couldn't keep the game up. It kept crashing to desktop or with a failed to load device error. And by 8.30, I had the whole night. I was going to play for four hours if I could stay awake. And by 8.30, I lasted 15 minutes. I couldn't handle it anymore. It crashed too many times. So it's too bad. I know not everybody's having this experience. So I'm sorry if you're having a fantastic league launch and you've had a very stable. We're very happy for you. And hopefully the balance with the league mechanic has worked well with your build. I was wondering when you were going to try and take your shirt. I forgot about it. <laughs> when Justin was uh, talking about his his week, and my apologies, you're probably not even finished. I think I usurped you, but um, I was taken off he my hoodie, but out. I didn't want to uh, interrupt him. So I kept my hoodie on and then I forgot about it. And then I had this really, yeah. really hot pink hoodie scarf just on. Just like hanging around his yeah. neck. Have you done, did you do much with the lab, like for the, the new gem stuff? Did you get a chance to do much with that? Um, Lab sucks. So... Um, I'm not interested in doing it more, even though there's a whole bunch of stuff gated behind it. Um, maybe eventually once like, so I've been, my build I was starting off with as, uh, as uh, I'm a necromancer and I felt like, you know what? The default zombie gem, I don't know how difficult these new gems are going to be to get. So I'm going to base my build around the default gems. The new zombie gem got 38% more innate life. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just blow those suckers up. Let's see how it goes. It felt okay. Like I was enjoying it. The damage was great. The cast time's insanely slow, but you know, the zombies cost a lot of, a lot of mana. And so I was doing that but then i'm like you know what maybe if i do skeletons they cast faster there's three at a time maybe and you know they're let they're, they don't need corpses maybe at the end of the day despite the numbers being smaller maybe i would do more dps maybe it'd be more comfortable maybe i'd live better so i spent the entire campaign swapping back and forth between zombies and skeletons and zombies and skeletons and you know the build wasn't gem wise uh, optimized for either because they they require different things right whether you're using corpses or, or not and where that's coming from and how i'm going to go about all of it so anyway and you're, you're swapping supports at the same time as well because i enjoyed having combustion with the zombies because they do so much damage whereas with skeletons i wouldn't i enjoyed putting feeding frenzy on them so they could zip right over to the enemies as quick as they could so it was a slower leveling process and I was back and forth and back and forth. And so because I wasn't sold on a very specific gem or build, I didn't have the same motivation to go through the lab. You know what I mean? I wasn't going to use, uh, I wasn't going to put 3% quality on a gem if I was going to bail on it. And so I'm like, okay, well, let's just see what gems I get. So I, you know, took an ice Nova and I put it in and I'm like, oh, I got an arc. Cool. Right. And I'm only looking for minion ones. And I probably only want like, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm looking for because my build's based on the default vanilla gem. So it was just out of curiosity. Never got any that interested me, but I didn't go out of my way to do anything extra. Um, I've seen some cool stuff, but it's still, it's lab. Like it really sucks that they put all this behind lab. Lab is never, I've never enjoyed lab. I love the Azaro fight. I love Every time I fight Azar, with the exception of I hate actually having to micromanage the different three different towers, dealing with that and all that. I enjoy making choices that impact the fight later on, but I don't feel like I'm fighting a boss when I'm having to stare at these towers. Are the beams coming out? Where are the charges? What's this, that situation at? Like all that kind of stuff. So, you know, there's aspects that I like about the fight itself, but at the end of the day, lab sucks and I don't care. So, um, yeah, the league mechanic itself as well, I've been quite disappointed with. Um, I feel like all I'm doing is running around. Like, I feel like I'm just running around in the dark. 
and I'm not excited for the enemies when they come. But um, I don't really, I really feel like there's a lot of instances where I'm doing much more wandering in the dark than I'm doing fighting. Like you get that in those, all those instances where there's no wisps to start off with and you got to pick a direction. Okay. Like there's some times where I barely see an enemy before my time runs out. And they still, with those like big white, like glowy circles that they have, you walk into them, they don't tell you what they do. Sometimes they do something, sometimes they don't. I still don't know what right. they do every time. And because I want to get out of there, I'm like, sometimes I, I think, that, that's right. I think they refresh my <laughs> like my black my wisp time. count. And I'm like, I don't want to yeah. be in here. I want to go back and map. Like that's where the enemies 100%. are. And then all of a sudden, mm -hmm. like I'm following and I'm like, oh sweet, there's a thick trail of the teal because I'm sticking with teal anyway. And then all of a sudden, Poof. and then, right. And then, but then there's <laughs> like this done. massive trove of enemies. And mm. I'm like, I have no hope because the teal has a lot of those, like, I don't know what they're called. Those underground those things that come out of the ground and they have like eight arms heck. and devours. Anyway, you get six of those, five of them guaranteed with Soul Leader. Like, yeah. yeah, see ya. I'm just gonna wait yep. till and I if die. You stand still. You are dead. So, 100 percent with those things. Yeah. So it's and you know then I like I said I go into the map and then I'm like I'm doing uh, Einhar. I'm still at the beginning of maps, but he's spawning often. And to get one of those like a red or a yellow beast that already has a couple dumb mods, but it would have been a fine fight. But then you get them, then they're all like speedy and running around and they don't want to fight you. They're like, pew, 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 and then they run away for 30 minutes and, pew, 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 and then you put life regen on them. And then you give them like one or two of those primal mods or whatever they are. The, the fights last forever, forever mm -hmm. and ever and ever. Like I had one where it was doing this mirror image thing. I literally mm -hmm. sat there like I just stood still. I have a stationary build and I have my build can do damage without me touching anything. So I just I went, I left. I went and made myself something to drink. I made a coffee, chopped up some fruit, came back downstairs. I was still fighting. The thing moved like a quarter of an inch. Oh, it was nuts. Anyway, so, uh, but, but, but the, my build itself, I'm having fun with. I had a, I had a portal gem drop early on. So I attached that to cast and damage taken low level, just so that I could see my portals. <laughs> it's been because I don't like how often like the same portals that I don't like that I wish I could disable show up. I feel like I always get that stupid Twitch per portal every second portal. So I ran around with cast and damage taken on a low level and my portal gem just so that I could see the different portals that I have quite often. It was quite fun. But not in maps though, because in maps oh, yeah. it would be the same one. But in maps it would just be whatever oh, one. Oh no, you sorry, during the campaign. With. You're right. During the campaign. During the campaign, yes, right. Yes, yes. Yeah. And then I also got while I was just playing around, I got two really awesome um, I, I, was it Alked or was it Essence? I forget. One of them was Alked. One of them was Alked. I got a plus one to all minion gems helmet and like act four or five. It was nuts. And so I spent, I mean, everything else sucks on it, but I'm like, whatever, I'm keeping this forever. And then maybe an act later, I got a plus one to all physical gems. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe an act later. <laughs> That just sounds so. What does that mean? Maybe an act later. Act one, act two, act three, act four. Okay. Wait, what? But when did you get the helmet? Like the really one. early, like act four or five. Oh, I just love that. In, in do you mean in the same act? Like later in the same act? I don't that know. You got like, something I else. Know, no. I just later. sounded really funny. In in act later. <laughs> <laughs> so, but then I got a plus one to physical gem wand. I think I remember you linking that. Yeah, that's, that's well. I mean, yeah, I tried to controller supports ridiculous with <laughs> it takes linking a little bit. <laughs> it does. It does. I kept linking my stupid. Anyway, Just send me a screenshot uh, yeah. with your phone. That's right. So anyway, then I get that. But zombies and I'm deciding between zombies or skeletons. They don't have the physical tag. So I'm like, ah, dang it, whatever. Right. So I, I put that on the side like it's it's my secondary one. So I'm leveling gems on the side because I have no idea what I'm doing. And it ended up that I actually by the end of the campaign and exploding zombies or skeletons was great I've, I've i've so many stationary perks i'm not scared of being stationary it i really enjoyed the damage that it did i just didn't like the feel of the play style for either whether it was skeletons or zombies it it bored me it wasn't exciting um it was amazing how much damage the zombies did cast bang cast bang and it was nice doing a zombie build where i didn't have to worry about um, zombie limits because they would die much sooner than Granted, I didn't have them at level 20. They were at 19 when I bailed on them. But still, like it was just the play style at the end of the day that I didn't like. But it, the, the damage was 
so like probably the strongest damage that I've done leveling in forever and ever and ever. Really enjoyed That's it. That's awesome. So it was one second for you listeners, <laughs> but it's been about 25 minutes for Justin and this I. This is going to be so an editing I don't nightmare. Remember, <laughs> I don't remember exactly where I was with my league, but I got that plus one physical wand. Yep. Which was really exciting, but I'm like, man, you gotta be joking. Like, I'm always a zombie person. I actually forgot to check to see if skeletons actually had the physical tag or not. Which, if they do, I would be extra mad because they, it's the same crap with the zombies. Why wouldn't you have the physical? Does anyway, SRS so, have a physical tag? Uh, I feel, no, it has fire. Oh, it's just which fire. Which okay. was the really confusing thing right. for me because it's always physical to fire conversion. Always has been. Yep. And only in the last four months have they changed that to actually describe that. But. 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 So I get this physical wand. It's just in, it's in my backup. You know, I'm like mixing and matching my build. Not sure what I'm going to do. And then I didn't see this coming, but I actually completely bailed on the minion instability altogether. Okay. I... I'm like, you know what? Forget it. I don't care. All I can think about is the Reaper or Animate Weapon, but I'm on the left side of the tree. I'm not interested in... I, actually, Animate Weapon's only... Is it 98 decks? Anyway, uh, I, oh, right. No, the reason that I opted out of Animate Weapon, even though I'm crazy excited for it, is because I didn't want to have a skill that was dependent on another skill, which was part of the thing that was unfun about exploding zombies right you have desecrate with zombies you need that skill to go through and animate weapons the exact same play style you need lingering blades right most of the time yeah like most of the time i didn't well not most of the time you it's just a guarantee that your skill can function and i don't like that so a lot of the times you're using the skill like uh what is it the lingering blade skill or desecrate to create corpses more often than you need to in almost every combat situation i didn't need to cast that after the battle started but at the beginning of every battle i needed to make sure i got my corpses out right and then of course then there's your boss battles that last a bit i really miss that damage but the play style was boring and because animate weapon would have been a similar play style even though i'm really excited about that bow version of the skill um, I'm like, you know what? Screw it. Let's just go with Reaper. And so I referenced er, that console had the standard update on Monday. And I'm like, right, I forgot about that. Well, let me apply my filters. Let me make sure that they work. So I log on, I check, and then I respect my builds according to what I had posted for 323 for those that still follow my builds. And so I go in and I do a couple maps to make sure that the filters are working properly. And I'm like, you know what? Let's see if that triple reaper skill, like, let's go buy that. Let's go see what's up. So I search for the reaper skill on the console marketplace. Okay. And there's one. Now, granted, this is like the early, day early. that it released. Like right. the eve. So yeah, console releases like in the afternoon, our time. And so I'm on like five hours later, seeing if the skill's there. And it was like, there was one in the entire reaper gem section like they have them categorized differently you can't just so anyway all the reaper skills are together you can't like hide it anywhere and there was one triple reaper gem and it was three divines and i'm like okay you oh know my what my gosh but you know make sense you're sure. four hours in if yeah. you got the only one do what you want with the price like mm -hmm. i have no problem with that kind of stuff on console um that's how marketplace stuff works so, you know, I'm like on um, PC now and I'm like, I'm tired of this uh, minion instability stuff and the way that I wanted to play it and it wasn't working out. I'm not a fan of like the SRS style. I know that's very efficient, but it's just not my play style. So I'm like, oh, yeah, let's see what the triple reaper thing costs. I'll probably just use the default one, but let's see what the triple reaper one costs. They were all three chaos. I had to triple check like three times, making sure it didn't say divines. I'm like, yeah, okay. It says chaos. So I'm like, okay, let's buy the, no quality's different. So then I scroll for a while and see which ones are, you know, what quality or whatever. So I bought a triple reaper for three chaos. Nice. And Justin, it is the best thing that has ever happened to me in Path them? of Exile land. So here's the thing. I had a lot of questions about the triple reaper skill and you know how there's like, you were talking about skills can poison there's little words in there that throw you for a loop and it was really exciting when all these gems were coming out because we're like noticing the differences and that was one of the things that really annoyed me about the zombie gem because i'm looking at the new raise zombie of slamming and i'm like 
that is the exact same as the old version, right? Like I'm looking at it for like 10 minutes, seeing if there's any different words in there. And so anyway, we went through the Reaper gems and we were doing the same thing. And, you know, the default Reaper is the same, but it has a 70% chance to bleed instead of 20 now if you do the quality. And then there's the one that does three Reapers. And I'm like, oh man, how does that work? And then I'm looking at the other one. I even forget what the other one does. Oh no, right. The, the other Reaper, it doesn't do any attacking except for the attack that you give it. You know, that manual one where it's like you cast it out. So that's the only one it does. So I don't know if it has a different cast time. I didn't look into it. That wasn't the more manual play style. It didn't interest me. The triple Reaper one was just sexy. And the thing that really excited me about it was that it doesn't have the bleed on it. So I'm like, oh, that's so perfect because now, now it's just the pure physical Reaper. Now I can put poison on it and I don't feel stupid. You know what I mean? Like now I'm not stacking a one hit dot with a many attack minion and there's three of them. How great. Like it was just perfect. It was just everything I wanted. So my questions about the Reaper going in were like, okay, well, how does it raise? Cause you know, when you raise the Reaper, the same button also makes it dash. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, well, how, how does it work? And so I'm, I loaded up and I'm playing with it. I'm just super excited. I can't handle it. I, like I loaded it middle mat. I, I wanted to do my third lab. I bought the Reaper and I'm like, okay, now I'm going to go do my third lap. Couldn't even wait. I loaded it up as a level one. I didn't even care. And I'm like, dash. And I'm like, what's going on? Like, I don't see it happening. It doesn't dash. There's no manual dash with that Reaper. Hitting the Reaper button only, only raises the it. Reaper. Okay. Right. And then I go back through the description. I'm like, oh, it doesn't. It's, it doesn't even say that you, you, it dashes. Like they completely removed that section. Sure. I'm like, I missed that. I didn't even notice. So that was, that was really cool. And. Guess what, Justin? Mm -hmm. I'm all excited because now my Reaper, right? It's got a physical tag. I can use my plus one physical. No, it doesn't. The main Reaper skill has a physical tag. The other, This Reaper doesn't. Are you kidding me? Really? It doesn't. I don't get why the normal Reaper would have a physical tag. But zombies wouldn't. But maybe skeletons do. Maybe skeletons don't. Like, there's no common sense to it. And so now I get a Reaper skill... There's three Reapers and it has no physical tag. I wonder it's just why. Minion and spell, like zombies. I don't know. Like, there's no way that the fact that the default Reaper that has bleed, that's why it has physical. Yeah, just because of the bleed. No way. No way. So, like, if anything, it would have dot or something. I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, it's really crazy. So I didn't even look into the other Reaper one that doesn't interest me if that has the physical tag, but I thought that was really stupid. Huh. So I are you playing with the three still? I am playing with a three and it is the best skill that has ever existed in the game, but I was so I still disappointed. I don't know how you're feeding them. Like, how are you? Because don't they consume? Oh, right. Okay. So, um, so the thing that was, I notice a lot with people when they're normally playing a Reaper skill, the Reaper has bleed. So people on PoE DB, that's, that's what we use. No, not PoE DB, uh, PoE Ninja. When I go and look to see like, how are people actually making the Reaper good? It was all focused on bleed. Now this is prior to this league launch, right? Mm -hmm. Before we had other ways to play the Reaper. Everybody was using ensnaring arrow because it made everybody moving. And that's of course important for bleed. When people are moving, right? The enemies are moving. They take that insane extra amount of damage for bleed. Yep. So ensnaring arrow makes sense. Okay, well there's a button. But the big bleed comes from that ultimate dash attack that's manually activated from the user hitting that button. Right. Right. That had outside of gems a 50% chance to bleed. So that's what you're aiming for. Every four seconds, boom, 50% chance. Of course, gems or jewels make that a higher chance, but by default, 50% chance for that to happen every four seconds. Okay, so well now there's two buttons, right? And then a lot of people for the sake of the consume, they would have skeletons on there because skeletons dash with feeding frenzy and they do physical so they can maim. So you couple those two together and probably add culling strike at level one for that. And then they're just going everywhere. Now all of a sudden, like your Reaper builds a three button build and that's not my style. So I've been trying to make the Reaper work in a lot of different ways for one button and I've made it work in ways that I really like and I've really enjoyed it. But skeletons were never an option for me, which was what? Because it just adds that extra element of button mashing to the game. So that's where the elementalist was very sexy for me before because golems just auto spawn. Mm -hmm. You get two chaos golems, two stone golems, both doing their own utility stuff as well, like with their own supports. But then no matter which one would get consumed, I'd still have the buffs of the one that was left over, right? Yep. 
so that's where the elementalist came from and i liked that the it had some global offense like just shocking improves the damage for the whole party so i like that kind of stuff but now that i don't have to dash use the manual ultimate skill with these reapers i don't have a button to hit and because they don't bleed i don't have ensnaring arrow i don't need ensnaring arrow because there's no bleed so now i don't need ensnaring arrow because they don't bleed they don't dash so i have no reason to hit them unless they die so now i can use skeletons and it's still a one button build so i have skeletons with feeding frenzy maim and I actually put, instead of calling strike, I put on meat shield. And that's working wonders because it's basically like I'm casting a decoy totem. But they do damage because because meat shield taunts as well, right? Mm -hmm. So, hmm. yeah. You know, so they I'm are the only debating... reaper that doesn't have the physical tag. I looked. Fuck. And I think it is because of the bleed. That's the only thing that's different in the it's description. It's so stupid. <laughs> Yeah, it's the only one that has only minion and spell. The other ones have physical minion and spell. They do a pure physical attack. A slashing area attack is what it says. <laughs> and guess what? Yeah, it says area attack. Do you see an AOE tag up there? No. Nope. No, if you put pulverize on that, no, you can't do a increased AOE. It doesn't work. But in the actual description... Yep, it says AOE, area. but because it doesn't have the tag, they really see that's the kind of shit <laughs> that they have to get right for PoE too. You can't have that kind of contradiction. The freaking yeah. description says it. I wonder why. Like, Physical there had to damage have been some and reason. AOE, and they have two tags, and one of those tags doesn't even scale. Spell damage. Yeah, spell damage wouldn't. That's right. So it's so crazy that like I can put melee physical. I can put like melee physical support on that, but technically, according to the tags, that shouldn't scale the damage at all. Mm -hmm. It's so dumb. Anyway, like we're experienced players. We get that there's that kind of stupid inconsistency. We know where to find that information. They have to get that shit right. Sorry, you can tell I'm mad. I don't swear. <laughs> they have to get that shit right for PoE 2. They can't. You have to. And you have to do it when you have those lost dark numbers. You don't do it after the fact, like you're fixing this league. You have to get it right. There's just some stuff you can't get wrong for launch. And that's some of that stuff. That is a weird players one. don't like uh, players that they're trying to reach. Like we want Path of Exile 2 to be successful. New players do not care if Path of Exile is successful or not. Mm -hmm. They're going to try it. They're going to like it or they're not. And then they're going to move on if they don't like it. They do not care if there's a fix coming later. They're like, oh, I played it. That's fine. Whatever. I'm going to go play Diablo. I'm going to go play Call of Duty. I'm going to go play whatever. Like, yeah, you have to hit it. You have to nail it. Not saying it needs to be bug free, but you got to use your head with what you're adding later and what needs to be fixed, like what what can and can't be. And they don't have a good reputation for uh, that currently. So hmm. anyway, um, that is infuriating. But Triple Reaper is the best, Justin. It is so fun to watch. That's good. So fun to watch. Oh, man. I put on chance to poison. Do not care what those numbers look like. It is on, on paper. It is so fun to have three Reapers. You ha put Predator support on it, and it's so fun. All three individually dash there because they have their own dash. Oh, so it's so fun. So I'm really hoping it works. And for anybody following any of my builds, there's a good chance that the Triple Reaper is just ugh, I, I just can't i gotta see how it does in end game i gotta get to some of these pinnacle bosses and everything that's funny well that's i'm the glad best. you're liking i it. absolutely love it yeah and so um but coupling that with the stable gameplay experience that i had yesterday mm -hmm. i am having a lot of fun the league mechanic sucks though like yeah. i don't want to do it unfortunately though i'm at that weird balance where like the fights are not worth the duration Mm -hmm. buffing enemies not worth it but i am getting a lot of currency because i'm doing teal i am getting like some of the fights i'm getting garbage but then some of the out of nowhere there's going to be a crappy mob that i didn't even know was influenced by the teal primal modifiers that they have back in the normal map and they'll drop like three chaos and elk and a scouring like at the end of the day i am finding the sure. total value at the end of a map it is paying off mm -hmm. but there are some circumstances where i'm like this is just crap mm -hmm. like who the mods that it's coupled with the types of enemies that it's on some of the base types like it's just it is still very poorly balanced but i am finding it difficult to not do just because 
outside of those like 10 minute fights on some of or i mean there's just i mean i'm not actually fighting for 10 minutes i'm just leaving them by and leaving them at the boss gate yeah but, um you know how they did the thing where you can mouse over to see the effects of the primal stuff wisps. now yeah i wish that that carried into the map so that once i was in the map i could still see that what does the purple blue and yellow mean because you can only see that when yeah, you're in the that's wild right, because yeah that's right because i mean i guess eventually you'll remember but I yeah it still is only three things right remember. it's rarity quant rarity quantity and currency right right and i only know currency is blue because you said it and i've seen it multiple times i just don't remember what they are but i'll have to check uh, out you, what they actually do because i don't you know, know what that. i haven't seen justin mm. what they do because I, I have to watch as a controller player, I have to watch else. the YouTube release video and find <laughs> the timestamp that describes what they do because controller support doesn't get that. Uh, what do they call that? A feature. You. I get compliments on the hyphen. I'll message you and I'll tell you on PC. Please uh, do. Well, that's good. I mean, I'm 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 still going to keep playing. I'm looking forward to, like I said, the base is still fine. Hopefully they get a little bit better with their lag and their crashes and stuff like that and i would like to still see them tune down the monsters to make the league mechanic for more enjoyable i just i still feel like it's just not fun and i know that's just me talking for myself but that is yep. that that's oh. it's my podcast with tyler so we're gonna we can say whatever we want <laughs> <laughs> but you and i are on the same page on this one so hopefully everyone else is having a better time than we are but there's also the part where despite the fact that it has been a crappy launch you get excited to play that first week and just crush it and when you're crashing or the game's poorly balanced whatever it is it it does really suck but it is all fixable you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like the crashes, I mean, obviously the crashes are going to get fixed. And the if the game balance doesn't get fixed, it's a mechanic that can be ignored. And even yeah. if it does get fixed, it's only going to last for three months. It just sucks that you kind of have to do it for, which I do like though, but that you have to do it for all these different new trees, these new ascendancies, which I like mm -hmm. that part of it. But I just, there's, I like, so one of the, one of the quests is you got to find the fourth quest, the final version, you got to kill the King of the Mist. Yeah, I haven't yeah. found that guy. I still it says doesn't... says keep waiting or whatever it is. That oh yeah, you'll, box you'll says. eventually find them, but it it doesn't actually tell you in there. I had to go online and find out that people have determined that you have to do tier fourteen and above maps. That but it doesn't sense. say that in the quest. Like you know, if you do if you do all I the other it quest did. lines, it says that. Like continue to yeah. find the whatever those different things. They say yeah. like tier fourteen plus or tier fifteen plus. Yeah. This doesn't say anything. So I was like. All right. Well, right. It that stuff's though. That stuff's important because users start to spend time to try and figure out what they're doing wrong. And if they're not doing something wrong, they're looking on the wiki. Well, that information's not on the wiki. They're mm -hmm. they're scouring online. Well, okay. There's a possibility that it's up to date, but yeah, you know, Path of Exile updates could say whatever often, they want. Right. Mm -hmm. They can, and unless it's GGG that says it. So that kind of information saves users a lot of time, and all it is. Is it's something as simple as what they do for the maven yeah. right so that yeah that that would be nice i i did find funny enough that you bring up the boss and i forgot to mention this but um to get my third charm mm -hmm. or i guess my second charm second charm. the third mm -hmm. ascendancy for that thing um i came across a unique monster in the wisps easiest monster drops the, charms. In the entire forest was Drop. the boss that i needed to beat to oh, upgrade. Was the boss nice. yeah but the tree i think right I, I don't know. I, it didn't last very long. Every other battle lasts forever or yeah. I get annihilated. This was the, I'm like, oh, cool, unique. And it was dead. I ended up finding her and I got my other socket. So I was like, oh, oh, okay. I it was found funny the just of the like the bosses. Oh, did you? No clue what happened. I died. Don't have a oh. clue. And apparently it's a whole like multi-step fight. Like eventually he teleports you to some labyrinth and then you oh, continue the fight. Cool. But it's again it takes me back to the idea of the trial master which is like i've been searching for this idiot for a very long time and i finally find him and i die and i don't know what happened that caused the death right and now i'm gonna wait till i hopefully find yeah. him again so and you have to go through crap like you're screwing over your map because it's currently in our opinion not balanced we feel like we're screwing over our map I because we have to the search for him in the wild woods right yeah yep. yeah yeah any map that circles it, back if it doesn't circle back i just don't do it and that's okay. funny with that you know so. how in heist encounters when you have those um the fortifications and you have to beat the door down to get into the fortification 
in heist or in syndicate Sorry, in betrayal syndicate in yeah. syndicate and betrayal mm-hmm. so those yeah. ones where there's the fortress and you got to beat yeah. the door down so uh, but you know how some you're attacked by others when you're outside until mm-hmm. that happens mm-hmm. so i didn't realize it but that's what happened to me with the boss for my second charm slot the third ascendancy is i'm fighting i'm going through and then all of a sudden there's this unique monster i'm like oh okay cool and then i beat it and but then I keep wandering around and I realize there's there's this completely big circle empty arena. Oh, in he came out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they yeah. came out to meet me, and I must have been That's taken awesome. forever with a stupid magic mob. And then so it comes out, it's like you're taking forever. And then it was only later that I realized they were probably waiting in that arena. Mm-hmm. But just came out to say hello. <laughs> and then you beat it, and then you got to go find the NPC again. So that you can I don't know if I needed thing. to find the NPC or not. You do I to get remember. the actual slot. Oh, I have to talk to them. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yep. So anyway, so it's, uh, I'm excited for it, but it's got problems. I don't know you. what we're going to do about Christmas time. We'll have to talk to BK, but typically BK is coming in two episodes. Mm-hmm. So uh, next week, I am scooting this over. This week, I chatted with Neversink on his stream, which he's always very nice and honest about. I cool. uh, love, love how he talks, but I chatted with him about GGG's default filter and got his opinions on the state of the filter. So that's, uh, oh my goodness. Hang on, hang on. Trello's going nuts. So that was something that if today was a short episode, I wanted to fill our time on. So I definitely want to get to that next week. Mm-hmm. Um, we didn't get to the interview. There's a few notes that I made about the PC Gamer, the full interview for Path of Exile 2 that they did when they were interviewing Mark and Jonathan. There were a few key points in there that it wasn't a very informative, but there were a few things to emphasize that I think will be very encouraging for everybody, no matter what your opinions on Path of Exile 2 are. So that'll be good. The video was actually garbage quality. Like PC Gamer put out the video and it, the lip, the dubbing, nothing, nothing matches. It's like the words are like two seconds behind the mouthing of the video. Yeah, you got to listen to it then and not watch it. Oh, it's brutal. Um, and then, um, then there was that rock, paper, shotgun article that I sent you about item weight. And this individual that was asking the questions, I don't, they didn't follow up with any questions and they had pretty generic questions. So they just got some default stuff, but still there were a couple comments in there that I'd like to bring up from Jonathan. So rock, paper, shotgun interviewed the creators of path of XL to talk to them about how to make loot feel satisfying. So that is also coming up next week. Cool. Sweet. Um, yeah, let's wrap this up. Sorry, I don't even know what this episode is going to be. It's going to be all over the map, but uh, thanks everybody for hanging out with us in this mess. I apologize. Uh, 219 Forever XL. I'm Justin AK Tags. And I'm Tyler Wrecker of Days. Patrons, we will see you in After Dark. Everybody else, we'll see you next week in 220. Hopefully, you're enjoying Affliction. If you're looking for more information, you'll find it down below. We got a website, foreverxl.com, or on Twitter, foreverxl82. We have a very fun Discord. You should pop in there and say hi. Uh, Patrons, other ways, support the podcast. You'll also find them down below and on our website have a great one yeah last week before christmas happy holidays